In this video, I'm going to show you how to make apple pie moonshine from scratch. To make this recipe, you'll need a few things. First, you're going to need some apple juice concentrate. You'll need some spices and you will need alcohol and some apples. So this recipe calls for apple juice concentrate as opposed to standard apple juice in a jug. This is less diluted than regular apple juice is. Adding this to the alcohol and spices will create a higher proofed final product. You can actually use any kind of white unaged whiskey. It all depends on your own personal preference. So just use whatever you like the best. Um, we're making apple pie moonshine, so we're actually going to use moonshine. You can use whatever kind of moonshine you like. You'll need about six cups of alcohol in total. I went down to the store and bought some of this stuff here. Um, these folks actually make apple pie moonshine. And you might ask, well, if apple pie moonshine's available at a store, why don't I just go down and buy some of that instead of making my own? Not to knock this or any product like it, but what we're making here is fresh, it's from scratch, it's homemade, it's simply it's better. The last ingredient we have here are spices. What a lot of folks will end up doing is just adding a couple of cinnamon sticks to some apple juice concentrate and alcohol. You could do that, you'd add three or four sticks per quart and leave it sit. That will make something that's vaguely passable as apple pie moonshine, but that's not gonna be amazing. What we use are apple pie moonshine spice kits from Clawhammer Supply. We make these, we love them, we've done tons of testing, we've made tons of apple pie moonshine. In our opinion, it doesn't get any better than this. This is made with cinnamon, ginger, cloves, allspice, vanilla, um, even some pepper. So the first thing we're gonna add here is the moonshine. I'm gonna add six cups. I'm gonna add this just to a standard stock pot. All right, I've added the alcohol. The next thing I'm gonna do is add the apple juice concentrate. I'm adding four cans here. This is just standard frozen apple juice concentrate that I got from the grocery store. I left it thaw out overnight. I'm gonna pause for a second and note that if you want to make a version of this that is slightly stronger and less sweet, you could add seven and a half cups of moonshine and only three cans of apple juice concentrate. So the last thing I'm gonna add here are the spices. I'm gonna leave this set 24 hours. I'll leave it set overnight with the lid on it. I'll come back tomorrow and we'll wrap this up. Okay, I'm back. It's been 24 hours. I'm ready to wrap this up. So what we're gonna need next are three quart jars, a strainer, and a funnel. The best kind of funnel to use is a funnel that's specific to canning. I can't find mine. So I'm just gonna use this. So all I'm gonna do is just pour this through the funnel so the jar is full. One thing I forgot to mention, we put three full cinnamon sticks in every spice kit. So you can add that to the jar. And I wanted to add an apple slice as well. So leave a little bit of room. I didn't do that. I'm actually gonna pour some out here. Okay, now I have a bit more room in here. Um, I'm gonna grab my cinnamon sticks out of the pot. I'll toss them in there. And then the last thing I'll do is cut up a few slices of apple. And there you have it, homemade apple pie moonshine. You can find these spice kits on our website. It's clawhammersupply.com. Thanks for watching. See ya.